Howdy YouTube, Esnix here with a little video for you, a little update of the Esnix OS project. Now Esnix OS for the longest time has been an XFCE desktop on Debian Stable. I've been doing this oh since Debian 9, I believe. We're up to 11 now, Bullseye. So I've been doing this a little while. Now, XFC remains my favorite desktop, but KDE is a close second. And after seeing some of the projects, well, one project in particular, sort of use my build files as well as other information on the net, I decided to go ahead and do Plasma Desktop for XFCE as well. Now my Plasma Desktop is not themed, it is stock KDE. We'll take a look at it in a minute, but it is up available on SourceForge and OSDN.net. So if you go to my SourceForge page, as an XOS, you'll see the description has changed to include mention of both XFCE and Plasma. So there are two ISOs now. If we go to Files, there is a Plasma folder and an XFCE folder. So in the Plasma folder, we have a README, the ISO, the MD5, the OS, ISNIX OS 113 bits file. You'll notice there's a mention of K2. K2 is my Oh, let's see, project name while I was building this. Took a few days, number of test builds, make sure I got the package selection the way I wanted it. And in building it, discovered a little problem in the easy admin scripts of going to testing. So that got fixed as well in both the Plasma and the XFCE editions. And the tar file has all of the build files necessary to rebuild exactly the ISO. The easy admin menu for the Plasma edition got edited just slightly. There's no need to rebuild the GTK cache files, so that is not an option, not needed. You'll notice the K2 appears here as well. K2, I decided on being K for KDE and K2 for the second tallest mountain in the world. Now, the first tallest would be the original Esnix OS, of course. The screenshots have gotten updated. The boot screen for Esnix OS K2 Plasma Desktop looks very similar to the other desktop, just rebranded. The desktop itself, you can see a picture of it here, very standard KDE Plasma. So let's go and take a peek at it here. Have it up and running in VirtualBox. The desktop does have a link to my documentation, how to build it, easy mate how to, as an XOS 113k2 bits file, the readme and how to prepare to make your own build. The, let's take a look at the theming options. Right now, the standard theming is Breeze, across the board. That's your standard KDE global theme. However, I did include the Adapter themes, the Materia themes, and the Oxygen theme. Now, if this still isn't enough for you, you can go get global themes here. I usually like to sort them by highest rated. And you can apply one. Let's go ahead and click install on the Sweet KDE theme. Show you how easy it is to make it look however you want it to look. Now, while that's spinning away, let's see if we can take a look at the software selection. So if we go to Applications, yeah, visually, this isn't the best thing to do. Let's see if we can move this over, move that over, go back to our menu. Ah, that's better. So under development, we just have compare, which is a diff patch front end. 
We have K patients under games for Solitaire primarily, but there are a lot of other card games in there. Graphics, we have Gwenview, Image Magic, Color Paint, which is a very nice simple painting program. Ocular for a document viewer, PDFs in particular. Scan light for scanning. Internet. We have aggregator for our feed reader, FileZilla, Firefox, KDE Connect stuff, KGET for download manager, Conqueror web browser, KTorrent for BitTorrent client, and more KDE Connect stuff. Under multimedia, we have Elisa music player, KD, uh, K3B burning program, K-Wave Sound Editor, MPV Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder, and SM Player. Under Office, we just have Ocular, Document Reader. Under Settings, we have Kavanta Manager and System Settings. So if you want to apply Kavanta styles, the Kavanta Manager is already there for you. Discover Software Center, Dolphin File Manager, My Easy Admin Tool, HTOP, Info Center K Partition Manager for managing your partitions, Console for Terminal, K Syscard, K System Log, K Wallet Manager, and Muon Package Manager. Muon is very similar to uh, Synaptic, however, it is a Qt application. Very nice way to search for packages and check for updates as well. What else do we have here? That was under system. Is there anything more? Ah, Termit, another terminal emulator. Last but not least, we have utilities, ARC for archiving. Emoji Selector, Kate for Advanced Text Editor, K Backup for a simple backup program, K Calc, K Find, K G B, K G P G. <laughs> Command to Manager shows up again, K Write Text Editor, Octeta Hex Editor for binary editing binary files directly, Spectacle for a snapshot screen capture and sweeper for a system cleaner. So that is your selection of packages out of the box. Now we've installed the sweet theme. So we have it here. Let's take a look, see how it applies itself. There you go. All the beauty of sweet, right? Not bad. Looks pretty spiffy if you want, if you like this look. I don't particularly like it, but it's there if you want it. The uh, global theme installer, you can look for almost any theme. I prefer Arc if I was going to change the themes from Breeze, but Arc has to be installed as far as I know. It's not in the Debian repos as a package on its own, as far as I know. If I'm wrong, please tell me. I'll put it in the next spin. So there you go, folks. KDE Plasma edition of Esnex OS. Hope you like it. Fairly easy to use. It's Debian stable. It's an older version of KDE, of course, at this point. Let's take a quick peek at the system info. We have Plasma version 5.20.5. KDE Frameworks 5.78.0, Qt version 5.15.2, running on the LTS kernel 5.10. There you go, folks. That is the new addition to the Esnex OS family now. It's more than one. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and you'll see me in another one. Bye-bye.